all the other livid lobster shows that you yep. have. At, uh, and you're going to be anchoring here. And uh, to my left, we all taking over his job. Taking yeah, taking over my taking over John's job, John Furrier's job. That's true. So, that's true. So I, I still got a job back behind me. Right. The desk, so. <laughs> and uh, to my left, we have John MacArthur, who is uh, amongst many other things uh, working with Wikibon these days, yeah. as doing some analyst work. Been a member of the Wikibon community for several years, and I'm uh, president of Walden Technology Partners. Very good. So, so when we, because uh, when we put your lower third up there, do you want President Walden Technology Partners? I should have asked you this. You could, you could do that. You so could do that. Working out Wikibon. the kinks now. We'll just, uh, put me, uh, put me we'll just Walden Technology Partners one and, every time. and Wikibon Contributor. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so I, I'm really a Wikibon Contributor. Yeah. So how long have you been working with Dave Vellante over at Wikibon? Um, pretty much since he started. I've been I've been following the stuff, reading mm -hmm. reading, uh, reading, and then started contributing shortly thereafter. Mm -hmm. they, we do... Um, we do regular calls with end users, and uh, I like to write those up. Right. I usually take the IT finance perspective or mm -hmm. uh, or uh, something like that. So. Right. Okay. And uh, you've been on the Cube before. I think you were at Oracle Open World, if I'm not mistaken. I was at o Oracle Open World. I've been at EMC World. I mm -hmm. didn't make this last one, but I was right. at EMC World the year before. I think... Um, May have caught VMworld. Uh, been on yeah, the cube. I know, times, you, I know yeah. you're hanging around the cube usually. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Whether or not you get your get <laughs> on the cube. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> yeah. So, Kelly, what are you up to at Geek BT? You've been on like the road like every. I have been. Every um, time I turn around, you're like out of the office. Yeah, I'm constantly covering tech news from the studio. But lately, I've been on the road at conferences. I just went, came back from Uplink, uh, mm -hmm. which was a mobile developer conference for Qualcomm. And before that, I was doing some pretty cool behind the scenes stuff at uh, Boeing and American Airlines and uh, DreamWorks. My, my that was son pretty cool particularly one. enjoyed your DreamWorks episode. Oh, yeah, I bet. A lot bet. of people like the DreamWorks <laughs> episode. I liked the DreamWorks episode. <laughs> I was really excited because we got to talk to uh, an animator yeah. and I got to really find out exactly how they create the animations that go up on the big screen. So, right. mu much, much fun. Yes, right. indeed. So in a few minutes, we've got Phil Soren coming on the network here. Right. Uh, he's going to be, he's the... Uh, Pres president of so Dell Compellent. Mm -hmm. President of Dell Compellent. Yeah. We, we met him at VMworld, uh, I guess it would be 2010, back when it was okay. just Compellent. Right, right, And uh, Liam, his, uh, his, I guess, is his PR communications? I, th I think his title's PR communications. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's what works for me. Real, real smart group of guys and uh, yeah. we had fun with them they did their press conference from the cube and uh, it's interesting to see them yeah. on their path of their evolutionary path there uh, yeah. if, as they mer uh, got in with Dell so right. he's actually Dell. just been uh, doing a keynote so oh that's correct he'll be I think he and Darren yeah. yeah he and Darren are coming over shortly so right yeah. But we're after that. We've got a lot of other interviews set up, mm -hmm. um, a lot of good stuff for you guys, and we're gonna have talk about WWDC, right? Yeah. A little bit later on in the afternoon, probably. Well, I was gonna see if we couldn't hit on it a little bit right now, so okay. while it's still hot news, uh, because <laughs> because in two hours, <laughs> in two hours, you know, it's, it's the internet years, you know, it's, it's like you know. So. But uh, you know, I, I I was actually pretty excited about. Uh, some of the stuff that came out of WDDC, and I'm not an Apple guy. I'm not an Apple fan, so I don't get excited about that sort right. of thing. Uh, but it looks like, to me, that Apple is actually going to give a fair shake at doing this whole cloud thing. Uh, so you are hey, an talk Apple about person. The, talk, talk about the iCloud. Yeah, bit. so, you know, iCloud is, is their syncing you know, ability. So it'll actually sync As everything. As in synchronized, not syncing. Yeah. So, right. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. So you'll be able to sync all your calendars, your contacts, even, you know, not Word documents, but, you know, pages, documents, mm -hmm. keynote presentations. So everything that's in their arena, yeah. you'll be able to sync through all of your iDevices. Yeah. Um, and that's free. Completely okay. free. Now, where it comes in to a, a price point is the iTunes in a cloud. And so if you have iTunes purchased songs, you'll be able to, you know, uh, sync those between all of your devices for, for free as well. Okay. But if you have songs that you didn't purchase through iTunes, this is where Apple really makes the money, um, you, can, <laughs> then you can still sync them, but you have to pay for a management service that'll tie them together. Okay. So it's like $25 a year. Which is actually cheaper than other services yeah. that do the okay. same kind okay. of thing. So it, it's interesting. They're definitely kind of trying to make it a better attempt than 
than mobile me, let's say, so, or dot .mac. So, so Google launched this uh, service to sync your Word documents up to their cloud, uh, too. Have you looked at that? Uh, you, you, could, you, you, can, mean, take, you mean other than Google Docs? Other, other than Google Docs, yeah. I mean, you take your Word documents and yeah. it links directly into Microsoft applications, PowerPoint, Word, Excel, and right. it synchronizes with the cloud. I don't know if you've looked at that at all. I haven't so, paid too much attention to that. I just um, keep getting error messages uh, every once in a while when I drop a connection. When did they launch that? This was like, I don't know, uh, two, three months ago. Yeah. 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 I installed it. It's... So, just errors after errors. Looks, <laughs> it looks like we have Phil Soren Oh, it's awesome. Oh, no, great. So, Good. I'm going so we can to talk down. more about that. Excellent. We're yeah, kicking excellent. him off. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. Yeah, you're Get out of here. Get out of here, Mark. Get back to work. Right? He's going to do his yeah. magic.